Hey there YouTube, Elite A Legionarii here, bringing you a, well basically a 1 vs 1 for Medieval 2 Total War, although having said that, there was a, a new player over here, his name was Lord Golder, um, he was just watching to pick up some tips from me and my opponent over here, um, Templar 1600. Now, I've got to pause because if you look at the timer up here, it's an exceptionally short game, I think it's probably the shortest one I've ever uploaded, it's very fast, so I've paused it so I can outline the armies before I actually begin, because by the time I've outlined, literally outlined our troops, you'll be halfway through the fight and missed a lot of it, so um, I'm playing as Venice and um, Templar 1600 went with Sicily, so both Italian factions here, both good ones, um, all, the, all, the, all the Italian factions except the Papal States are great. Power State's not bad, but they're not as good as the other three. So I've got two units of peasants just screening like I usually do. I have five units of Phoenician Heavy Infantry with uh, heavy upgrades. I think this was a lower money game as well, so that's why some of my units won't be as grand as they might otherwise be. My missile units consist of four units of peasant crossbowmen. So this is where I went for the cheaper units in the fight, which is some easy crossbowmen. Now my cavalry, three units of Stradiots. Now these got no upgrades on them I don't think, or they might have one or two. Um, but they're only light cavalry but don't let that fool you. These light cavalry are extremely powerful. Very powerful light cavalry. If you've played Rome Total War, um, you'll remember units like Headhunting Maidens and Desert Axemen, which are light cav, but because they used an armor piercing weapon, they were extremely deadly against um, even heavy cavalry, cavalry like cataphracts because they could you could put so many upgrades into them and you could get quite a lot of them um, and they have such good weapons against heavy knights well this is kind of like medieval 2's variant of those they're very very good um, and they can do a lot of damage to heavy cavalry and they're very fast so they can catch a lot of light cavalry skirmish units as well so they're extremely useful um, and on the other flank I have two units of knights hospitallers um, that's just to hold down this other flank so that's my army now my opponent's army, um, he's gone with a more sort of stretched out formation. He's got in the front row, he's got Puppy's Crossbowman, he looks he's got three of those, so he's got a missile advantage for sure. Even though he's got only three, I've got four, but his missiles are a lot better. Um, as I said in other videos, defensively wise, Puppy's Crossbowman are pretty hard to beat, so it's going to be interesting. So I'm just going to go for a rush, I think. So anyway, he's got um, Halberd Militia on the flanks there. The centre here is made of an armoured sergeant. So this is just obviously a stalling force, whereas his real force is behind them in the back row there. He's got four units of dismounted Norman knights. Um, on his flanks, he has three units of knights Templars on this side, and he's got a general's bodyguard and a fourth Templar on this side. Now, in this fight, I'm going to demonstrate also that knights hospitalers are just better than Templars. So now let's get going. As you can, oops, sorry guys, sorry. Um, I had the triple speed still on then. My bad. Um, so anyway, what I do is I rush over to here to line up. Um, and I'm sending my Stradiots out this way and I'm going to send my um, Hospitalers out this way. Now, as I said, I will demonstrate why Hospitalers, hospitalers are better than Templars in this fight. So, um, I'm not even going to waste my time getting into a missile duel with these puppies crossbowmen. It's just, I just won't lose it. And that's what he's trying to do. His army's actually just more of a stalling type of army. I'm just going to flat rush him. Um, and I'll use my cab to keep his cab busy. So uh, here I get really fortunate and I get a perfect charge on his knights and this will just devastate his tempers. Um, these are light cab, remember? Um, and I'll do the same over here and I'll come from this side um, and I'll just cream both of these cab units almost instantly. Um, over here, um, he what he should have been doing was using this knight to go after my infantry, but he doesn't. He goes after my other knights over there. Um, but as you can see, um, this unit of hospitalers is doing good. And as this, this unit's actually holding down two units of Templars on its own, for, even though it's in circle there. Over here, my Stradiots have just torn straight through this whole line. Over here, my Venetian Heavy Infantry are more than a match for any of his infantry. His Norman Knights will certainly hold out, but my guys are better. But now I've got a bunch of, I've got my Stradiots coming in the back, and I'm causing routes in the flank of his line there. As you can see, I've got the other one coming in, I'll just keep using repeated cycle charges there. Over here, I'm using my missile units to give my um, guys an edge. But as you can see, look at these. I still got 22 hospitals left, and that temple is completely routed. That's more than half the, that 
this unit surviving. That's just how much superior Hospitalers are to Templars. Over here, this, this Hospitalers still got 14 men in it and getting a balance against two units of Templars. So, the rest of his army caves in um, under repeated strikes from my Stradiots and the armor piercing um, hardcore strength of Venetian heavy infantry. So, that's pretty quick. As you can see, it's only at 1700 there, and I've already routed pretty much his whole army. Over here, I'm just finishing off the remainder of his guys. His Norman Knights just getting striked by my Stradiots. As you can see, still high numbers of my Stradiots, but as you can see, tons of kills. Over here, I managed to route those two full units of strikes. Templar and still have 17 hospitals here and only two there. But you gotta say, I had they had extra units. Now I did have support from these crossbow, which did help, but overall the stats are the same. The only difference in the stats between Templars and Hospitalers is that Templars have the May Charge with their orders trait, which makes them a bit more flighty and less 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 reliable than Hospitalers. But for some reason the Hospitalers will win every time. I don't really know why. They don't have an armor piercing weapon. Their stats are the same. Um, I don't know what it is, but they're just better. Um, some of those things, it's kind of like in Rome Total War, where our bronze shield pikemen had the same stats as silver shield pikemen, but they will always, just about always beat. Eight times out of ten, they'll always beat silver shield pikemen. I don't really know why. It's just what happens. Um, but if you want to use either, go with the Hospitalers. They're better. They're same, I'm pretty sure they're all both the same price, the stats are the same, but hospitals are just better. No particular reason, I just, they just are. But uh, if you want to go get the most, um, the most bang for the buck, for your buck, or you know, the most, most cost effective unit out of the two, it is the hospital, it does perform better. And it gives factions like Scotland, which don't have good cavalry, an actually effective cavalry unit, because everyone, or every Christian faction can get the get the hospitalers so you definitely want to get hospitalers out of templars unless you're just having fun and you want to use templars and this guy's name was um templar 1600 so i'm probably it's probably the reason he used them so i just ran down the rest there but as you can see an extremely fast fight and pretty much i just dominated in the cavalry region my infantry was better norman knights are good infantry don't get me wrong they are good infantry some of the more reliable infantry in the game very capable very well worth using when you're playing in sicily but venetian heavy infantry the only thing that in my opinion can be said to be better than venetian heavy infantry is dismounted conquistadors other than that the, dismount, the dismounted uh, venetian heavy infantry are definitely the best so if you look at my Stradiots, loads of kills, practically no casualties, lots of captures. They are an incredibly good, useful, good and useful unit. Now, now remember, however, though, because Medieval 2 is slightly more balanced than Rome in, in certain ways, don't expect them to be able to fight like Sars Guard and, and beat them. They won't beat Sars Guard. But they're a good supporting unit to other heavy cavalry because they're pretty cheap. You can put lots of upgrades on them. But they'll beat, yeah average mill of the run of the mill kind of like knights templars and they'll definitely beat male knights they'll beat feudal knights and they'll do a lot of damage to some other heavy knights you know for a light cavalry unit that's very very useful and gives you a lot of options so my hospitals they did well too considering they're up against an extra unit of templars they proved they're better than templars i just met uh, my venetian heavy infantry rather they had to any casualties and just tore through that line um, my crossbowmen really didn't do much at all um, and my peasants obviously they didn't really get to be charged like they usually meant to be but to be honest um, it's all about the Stradiots and Knights Hospitalers and a little bit from the Venetian Heavy Infantry but mostly this fight was about Cav so a really quick fight there um, don't for a minute think that Temple 1600 was a bad player because he wasn't he just was a couple, wee bit slow in a couple of areas with his micro and I exploited it so um, as for Lord Golder there he was just uh, looking to pick up some tips from us so hopefully if you ever watches this you did pick up some tips um, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this and there's plenty of med 2 on the way so looking forward to that and I'll see you soon next time